द एक्रोपोलिस हिल इन एथेंस हैज बीन इनहेबिटेड सिंस द न्यूलिथिक एरा इन द थर्टीन सेंचुरी बी सी ड्यूरिंग द माइसिनियन पीरियड इट वॉज फोर्टिफाइड एंड बिकेम द सीट ऑफ द लोकल रूलर The ancient citadel located on a rocky outcrop above the city of Athens contains the remains of several ancient buildings of great architectural and historical significance the most famous being the Parthenon Now a world heritage site the Acropolis and its monuments are universal symbols of the classical spirit and civilization and form the greatest architectural and artistic complex bequeathed by greek antiquity to the world The small church of Saint Simon was built in 1847 by the builders who were brought over from the small island of Anaphi by King Othon and his Bavarian court to build Athens in the early 1840s. The Church of the Transfiguration of the Savior is an 11th century Byzantine church located to the north of the Acropolis. Because of its small size, it is also known as the Sotirakis. constructed between 449 to 415 BCE this well preserved greek temple was dedicated to hephaestus the greek god of blacksmiths metal working carpenters craftsmen artisans sculptors metallurgy fire and volcanoes This prominent rock is called the Areopagus, a name derived from Areos Pagos, which means Hill of Ares. Ares is the Greek god of war and courage. The Areopagus sermon refers to a sermon delivered by Apostle Paul in Athens at the Areopagus. This sermon illustrates the beginnings of the attempts to explain the nature of Christ and an early step on the path that led to the development of Christology. The word Acropolis is from the Greek words akron which means highest point or extremity and polis which means the city. 
During the ancient times, the Acropolis was also known as Cecropia after the legendary serpent man Cecrops, the supposed first Athenian king. The history of the Athenian Acropolis is not limited to antiquity. It was long lasting and its monuments underwent many transformations upon the prevalence of Christianity as well as during the Frankish and Ottoman rule. The most renowned monuments were erected in the second half of the 5th century BC when Athens, following the victories against the Persians and the establishment of democracy, took a leading position amongst the other city-states of the ancient world. Located on the Mausian Hill, the Philopappus Monument is an ancient Greek mausoleum and monument dedicated to Gaius Julius Antiochus Epiphanes Philopappus, a prince from the kingdom of Comagene. The Odeon of Herodes Atticus, also known as Herodion, is a stone Roman theatre structure located on the southwest slope of the Acropolis. It was built in 161 AD by Herodes Atticus in memory of his Roman wife, Aspasia Ania Regilla. It was originally a steep sloped theatre with a three-storey stone front wall and a wooden roof made of expensive cedar of Lebanon timber. It was used as a venue for music concerts with a capacity of 5,000. It lasted intact until it was destroyed and left in ruins by the Hiruli in 267 AD. It was later renovated in 1950. The construction of Propylia was assigned to the architects Mysiclis in 437 BC. The original design was never completed due to the Peloponnesian War. Built around 420 BC, the temple of Athena Nike was dedicated to the goddesses Athena and Nike. The temple is the earliest fully Ionic temple on the Acropolis.
Regarded as the finest example of Greek architecture, the Parthenon is an ancient religious temple the Athenians built for the Greek goddess Athena. Its construction started in 447 BC. This temple was built in thanksgiving for the Hellenic victory over Persian Empire invaders during the Greco-Persian Wars. Later point in history it also served as the treasury of Athens. Following this the Christians converted it into a church and dedicated it to the Virgin Mary. Inside the Parthenon there once stood a colossal statue of Athena Promachos. The statue was 9 meters high and symbolized the victory and strength of the Athenians over the Persians. The coordinated construction of the citadel didn't take place until the 5th century BC. Pericles, an Athenian statesman, is largely responsible for the full development of the Acropolis. The Pandrosion was a sanctuary dedicated to Pandrosus, the kind and obedient daughter of the legendary king of Athens, Cecrops. She was the first priestess of Athena, the patron goddess of the city. This sacred olive tree is thought to be the descendant of the mythical tree that goddess Athena gifted to the citizens after she defeated Poseidon. in a contest to become the patron goddess of Athens and the city was later named after her